Hello, I'm Linda, and today I want to talk about this novel, this fantasy novel called David Mogo God Hunter by C. E. Davis. So I really like this novel because it's fantasy, it's different from the norm, you know. I only know a couple, a handful of Nigerian authors writing fantasy, so I'm really great that a lot of people are doing that, or more people are going into it right now. So the plot is about the gods in Yoruba mythology falling down from Orun, which is their homeland, falling down to earth, falling down to Lagos and disrupting life as we know it. And the protagonist, who is David Mogo, then makes his his fortune out of the collective misfortune of Lagos by being a god catcher. So like in, in the Orun, which is the homeland of the gods, there are two types of gods. They are the high gods, like the Shangos and the Oguns and the Oshuns, and then there are lower gods or small gods who are called godlings. So these godlings aren't very smart. Um, sometimes they get into houses, people's houses, and get stuck, and uh, the people would have to look for a god catcher. And a god catcher is kind of like an exterminator. So you would call a god catcher like how you'd call an exterminator on a rat to chase the rat away. So that was how David Mogo made his money. So that's all I'm going to say about the plot. You'll find out by yourself when you read it. Um, so I'll just jump into character development. Um, there, I would say the author did a very great job. The character started out as a loner, as someone very individualistic, but as the story progresses, that begins to change. So you can find out when you read it. Um, then I would talk about the, the narrative style. I like that the author employed the first person narrative technique because it makes reading more personal. Like you see the story and everything happening to the protagonist through his eyes, you know, so you feel it along with him. If he's afraid, if he's sad, if he's happy, you feel it because you're reading it through his eyes. So I think the author did a great job in that regard. And uh, the language used, I would say, um, was very simple, like simple in a good way, in a great way, because I like it when authors make things straightforward for the reader, you know, instead of getting caught up in what critics will think or what other writers will think, and then you end up writing with big words like Shoinka. But in this regard, I would say the writer um executed his work more like achebe which is like straightforward unambiguous very easy to understand free-flowing language me i love that kind of language like i don't like complicated things like showing can no i like language that is you know communicating not language that makes you carry your dictionary and still not get the meaning in context of that sentence so I would say the author did a great job in simplifying things, but it's still a great body of work, even though it's simple. So I would, I would call it a reader's novel, you know, like readers would find it very easy to read, like even a lazy reader, like people that aren't really into novel reading, but, you know, just do it once in a while. This is the kind of book they would find very easy to read. Um, so... I would say in in terms of description and using imagery, the author did a very great job there too. Like everything is vivid, you know, as you're reading, you're imagining it. And I couldn't help reading and imagining it being made into a movie. So I would love to see this book made into a movie, maybe even into three movies, because the way I read it, I saw that there were like three pauses in the book, like three three parts so it'd be great to see it as a trilogy so hopefully a big studio can snag up this this story you know and make something great for us i would be yeah i would be excited to watch something like that and what makes it super exciting is that it's set in lagos you know like you can see the everyday lagos life the 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 regular language used in everyday Nigerian speech like abi, she, sha, nawao, you know, like even though it's fantasy, even though it's 
the supernatural, like the natural aspect of Nigeria and Lagos is still very much in the book, which is something I appreciate. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about the book. I would like for you guys to find it and read it. You can, I read the um, ebook, so I would suggest if you're in Abuja, you can check out Salamanda Cafe, Roving Heights, and Spine and Label. You know, those are the three bookshops I know that stock Nigeria novels, so you should find them there. So if you're um, a very big fan of fantasy, if you love Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, this is your book. You're going to love this book, so make sure you find it. So um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.